Often you might have heard the term middleware while learning ASP.NET code. What is it all about? Hi, this is Sahana. Today I am here to help you to understand middleware with respect to ASP.NET code. You all know about web application. They handle the request that you send from your browser. In response, they return the correct response that matches your request. To handle that request response cycle, there must be some robust system set up, right? We call that system as request pipeline. Here comes our today's hero, Middleware. Middleware is a software that is assembled into this request pipeline. You can insert as many as middlewares into the request pipeline based on your requirement. You will understand it better when I create the example and show you. This is the web application that I have created. The framework version is ASP.NET Core 6.0. In the previous versions of ASP.NET Core, things were a little bit different. Concept is same, but the files are a little bit different. They used to see the starter file. Here you have only program.cs file. I have opened program.cs file. This is the application starter file. This is the place where we configure middleware. Core responsibility of middleware is to process the request and response. We are at our web application and we are at program.cs file. If you look at the code, the first line here we are creating the instance of the web application builder. Next, we are configuring the services. At this particular line, the application is built. Highlighted are the middleware and they are configured in the program.cs file. One thing to remember here is, these middleware are not added by us. They are added by the framework when we created the application. And we call these middleware as built-in middleware because they are given by the framework. One important thing to remember here is the order of the middleware is very important because they can decide whether to pass the request to the next middleware or not. Here you see different middleware. Let's take the example of uStatic files. This middleware enables static file serving for the current request path. For example, if you have requested an image, then this middleware processes your request and sends you an image file. But it will short circuit your request and it will not allow the rest of these middleware to process your request. Because placing them in correct order is at most important. The important thing is, it's not mandatory to use all of these middleware. If you don't want, you can remove them. If you want to use any other middleware, just say app dot. Here you'll find so many different middleware that are given by the framework. And But one thing is you should know what it is used for. Only then you will be able to use. Based on your necessity, you can go for any of the available middleware. You can create your own middleware and add it to the request pipeline. In a nutshell, middleware works on the HTTP request and response. You can configure as many as the middleware you want. Then order of the middleware is very important. Next, if you want the next middleware to be processed, then we have to explicitly mention the next middleware. Lastly, you can choose to use the built-in middleware or you can create your own middleware. These are something that you should remember about middleware. I hope the session was useful. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.